Okay, guys, right. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to just go into what you get with your any cubic. So obviously you get the main model, which is here. Uh, Photon, this one is the S. Um, you can see the website there. So on the website, you've got... Um, they actually now got this wash and cure machine, which looks really interesting. I'm probably going to get that. Um, but you can buy a bundle, so you can buy this and the wash and cure as well, which is cool. Uh, we talk about curing and washing and how I do it um, later on. So we got our little only cubic. Uh, you also get a handy little tool set, which is there. And this is um, gives you the tools to actually tighten up the FEP uh, and a little screwdriver. I'm not sure what that's for. I think that's to screw something up. Um, probably one of the other parts. You also get the filters, these little uh, filters. And they give you quite a few of those. I think there's about 20 in there or something. So these are handy. Now, uh, with the filters, you need to, every time you pour the resin from the vat, which we'll talk about in a second, back into the bottle, yeah, you have to filter it because there can be particles in the uh, in the actual tray in the vat and um, you don't want those going back into the bottle because uh, you don't want to pour it's it's um it's semi cured and it can re it can activate might activate the um, and uh, bugger up the resin that's in there so um, and also the other thing is if you pour it into the vat and there's bits in there when the bill plate comes down yeah um, if there's bits in there, it can actually push through and it can break the LCD um, UV at the bottom, the actual display that's actually baking your resin. So you do not want to forget to filter anything going back into that bottle. Always keep the lid on, okay? Um, we'll talk about what we do in the procedure before we print. I wanna talk about the actual any cubic itself so the any cubic itself we have the build plate here which is all leveled which we'll talk about later that goes on there and that screws up nice and tight you've got two little locators inside here to actually tighten the vat in now when you take the vat out of the LCD some people pull pull it up when they pull it up it can pull the LCD display at the bottom it can pull it out so what I tend to do is I give it I try and move it side to side a little bit till it's free um, and then I just slide it out like that slide it out don't pull it up okay really important so here is our that like if I talk it kind of echoes bang because it's like a drum uh, now, what I've noticed with the FEP is when it arrives, it's just been tightened like factory. And uh, a lot of people have problems with the FEP not being uh, basically tight enough. So it's loose. So what happens is it pulls away. Again, we're going to talk, to that, talk about that in a minute. So what I would always suggest is you get the Allen screw and you just check these little screws here one two three four five six seven eight screws you just check they are the same tightness all the way around and what you should hear is kind of hear that like a like a drum if you if you bang over it, it you should get the same sound all the way around just like a drum kit, when you've got a drum, it's got to be tightened equally. If it's not tightened equally all round, and it's not tight enough, then what happens is the resin will cling to it, and because it's loose, it will go up, and it will ping the cured resin from the bottom of the build plate, and it will stick to the FEP. Okay, this is a big problem people have. Make sure it's you got that nice drum sound all the way around. I'm going round it. I can hear the same sound. If it's loose one side, it will be it will be a different sound. Okay. So you go in the middle. So this is kind of my drum test. What I call drum. No one said this online yet. This is a first. 
from Mojo Mojo. So um, you can see originally when I did this, I was baptism of fire stuff because I had stuff sticking to my FEP. And if you look really closely, you can see there's kind of little lines, little marks. Now it's not enough to affect me having bad prints, but um, I did have a problem, especially getting it off the surface. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you later a technique that we can use to eliminate that. Now, um, that is our vat, which we fill with resin. Now, I always fill it to, there's a, a line just inside the resin plate. There's kind of a line here, you can see it. That's where I fill to. And I fill it constantly there every time I do a print. Now, I haven't done any massive prints. Uh, my biggest print so far has been this, okay? So, you know, but it's still fairly big. Um, but I, that's enough resin. There's still loads of resin in there when I finish that. So that's enough for me. I don't want to fill it. You got to make sure you don't don't fill it halfway up. You know, one third max. Because if you fill it too far up, when the bill plate comes down into the resin, the resin will get displaced and it will pour over the side, and you do not want that. Okay, so be careful. It's it's easier to um, fill it up while it's printing. Just pause the print and then fill it back up and then carry on than it is to fill it too high and have it pour over the top. You do not want that. Okay, there is no markers in there telling you where to fill to, but I always find that that line around the outside is a really good guide for filling it up to. So that's my little tip. When I put the resin plate back in, when I put the vat back in, I put it down like this and then I slide it in, slightly holding the top up so it doesn't rub against the um, LCD. Uh, we haven't got on to leveling the build plate yet. We're going to get onto that. So I'm not going to tell you about tightening this up or anything. So you get the vat, you get the build plate, you get the machine itself. You will also get a little memory stick. More about this later. This contains the slicing software that any cubic send. And it also sends the test photon cube. Now, I haven't printed that out because it just drives me nuts. Everyone prints the cube out. Um, I'd rather do it with real projects. So we'll talk about the memory stick later. Definitely have a load of spare ones. In fact, I'm gonna talk in another video, I'm gonna talk about all the extra bits that I've got to help me. They give you a nice pair of gloves. Now, if you're handling resin, okay, make sure that you do have your gloves on. Now, all my stuff's really clean, so I don't care I've got my hands. Um, but if I'm handling the resin, I have my little rubber gloves on. And we'll talk about that later. Um, so that is it, that's our setup. Now uh, we'll talk about all the other things you need in the next lecture, but these are the basic things that you need, okay? You've obviously got the power lead for the photon as well. So very little bits, you've got a vat, you've got the build plate, you've got the photon, uh, the power lead, and you've got the gloves, the filter, the test vet resin that they give you, which is the green, translucent green, and the toolkit which is there so that is all the bits they give you so what we need to do now is we need to move on to all the extra bits that i've got that i found really really useful um, in my um, experience with the photon s so in the next video I'm going to show you all my extra bits and what I use them for. Um, then I'm going to show you how what's on the stick, how we um, empty, clean the resin, how we level the build plate. I've got all these things to talk about. So these are all in their own little section. So this section is about what you get with the any with the any cubic photon S, right? So now we know that we can now move on. So this is what you probably got at home. You probably got this and you've got this machine set up and you're ready to go. But stay with me, you've got to stay with me on this because you're gonna need some extra bits because um, just if you want a successful print first time. So I'd like you guys to give me the thumbs up that you got a successful print by watching this section of the course. All right, let's move on now and let's check out what extra bits I've got to really help me with um, keeping everything clean and uh, reducing my spend cost on uh, resin printing with the any cubic, cubic Photon S.